All right. So tell folks who you uh, who you are, where you're at, and who you're with. Obviously, I said in my saying. Yeah. So. so we're with MIC Custom Solutions. My name's Allison, David, and Dan. We're a trade compliance software company. We have locations here in Detroit, Michigan. We have another location in Vancouver, Washington, Mexico City, and over in Europe. We have Austria, Vienna, Salzburg, all kind of all over in Europe. Yeah, we're building outstanding. I, I didn't know you had that many offices. Oh, around. yeah. We've been growing this year like crazy, too. Dan actually uh, got a bit of a promotion over here. Oh, He's been growing his team yeah. like crazy. Yep. So what, what's your uh, promotion? What was your job? So I'm in charge of what we call a value stream. So I'm a bunch of different products including development, support, and project managers to implement the projects. So all, all in one team, so better communication, better service for our customers. Outstanding. And a better product overall. Yeah. So what office do you operate out of? We're in the Southfield, Michigan office. Okay. All right. Yeah. And so what is it you do, Devin? I'm in the Southfield office as well. I'm part of a different value stream on the origin side, mm -hmm. but I'm not the, uh, the value stream team leader. I'm, I've been designated as the product owner of our origin module. Okay. So I'll make sure our origin module is geared towards the North American market's aids, a little bit more autonomy from, from Lentz, where our company is based out of. All right. So. Let me ask this. With the, uh, your client base, what is it that... Um, as far as a trend that seems to be popping up right now that seems to be like red flags that they, hey, your supply chain, you need to be looking at this area, that, or what? What seems to be a trend right now? I would definitely say always MX, drawback, uh, CARM has been a lot lately. Oh, yeah, the Canadian yeah. CARM situation. That is... <laughs> I'm going to get to go up there in a couple of weeks and deal with that. So, anyway. There's been a lot of regulatory changes, too, like UFOPA for the, the Uyghur region. Obviously, it's important. Section 301s and 232s in the past few years. Really important in a way. Our software gives companies a way to recoup those duties or avoid them altogether. Really important, especially when you look at 100% tariffs on some vehicles now. Excellent. What would be something that you see that uh, most people, uh, most companies do that it's like, what were they thinking? And it's like a, a common problem that gets themselves into trouble. Besides using an Excel sheet? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start with that. I can see a small company growing into oh, for it. Sure, for yeah. sure. I, that's a good point though. Data, I think the biggest pain point is data. So data quality from a lot of our customers, that's the first thing we look at is what data are you giving us? Is it enough to make an entry or to file for a free trade agreement? Sometimes there's gaps or, or bad data. So that's the first thing to look at.